What's updated? So let's do a complete multi time frame analysis of GBP CHF and ZD CHF and CAD CHF. Let's see what kind of this CHF pairs giving us a trading opportunity. As you can see that uh, on the screen, on the lower time frame perspective, we can see that these three pairs are giving a really good trading opportunity as there is a news announcement on CHF pairs today and we have found a really good trading opportunity. Now before we discuss what it is, let's do a complete multi time frame analysis. Then I'll jump on to this lower time frame to see how we can trade them. First of all, let's begin with GBP CHF. Now GBP CHF as usual, we'll be looking at the bigger picture first of all to see the general direction in the market. Now if you look at the monthly time frame over the long term, we see that GBP CHF is a clearly defined downtrending market. You can see every month the price was creating a series of lower high on the monthly and has a long consolidation and we have seen a breakout from this consolidation. Now at this point, you see that every month the price was creating a, a strong downward a movement the past month the one that has closed today we have seen a middleman that has a long week at the top and also week at the bottom a body in the middle so that's a middleman and we can expect now after this closing of this candle at least to break this monthly low so that can give us a really good trading opportunity on the lower time frame perspective now if you look at the weekly time frame we see that there is a back-to-back two dodges on the weekly now there was a the previous this week we have seen the price tested this important level of support here you can see this support was broken and then tested as a resistance we have seen a rejection on this weekly candle followed by a dodgy narrow dodgy the price was basically consolidating that's what happened after a big move you can see a consolidation now this week a significant retracement to the upside as expected created a lower high with the previous week now we see that the price now rejecting down and i think that it will continue to drop as this is a long term bearish market now looking at the daily the, this is typical downtrending market you see that on the daily there is a strong structure with a series of lower high and the liquidity grab drop big drop followed by retracement drop retracement drop retracement now we can expect another drop so that's a typical downtrending market structure series of lower high and lower low so in all time frame we see significant movement to the downside so let's look at on the four hour time frame what kind of price section it is creating now in this time frame we see that the nice looking price section you see there is a big move with this green candle it's a liquidity grab created a lower high with this level higher low with this level and then we have seen that the price created a, a, a strong move down so with this level the price created a higher high pardon me not higher low higher high and then from this zone we have seen the price basically has broken down again moved to the upside created a lower high with a double top formation so we have seen a double top here okay and then we have seen a strong breakdown so with that structure if you closely look at this is a structure that is bearish and, and then with this current candle the price basically has broken out of this structure so where is we can entering a trade you can see if you connect this two bottom of these two green candle this is the neckline of this structure so when you see a, a reversal pattern or a structure is broken you can expect the price to go up and test this zone as a resistance so this is what i am doing now currently watching price action for potential shorting opportunity from this zone on gbp chf we could see a really high probability trade setup from this zone keeping stop loss above this high as, as this is a long time bearish market the load will be to the downside a lot in this instrument as soon as i will find a significant trading opportunity i will send it to our students with a high risk to reward they should trade this instrument now let's look at other pairs that what we are doing with nzd chf now, as you can see all chf pairs behaving almost in the similar way nzd chf creating same kind of middleman pattern you see that this long week candle basically tested this neckline already this previous support here support here as a resistance and we see that 
a significant rejection and if you look at bigger picture daily the same thing the price is in a long term bearish move respecting this trend line with a liquidity grab in the zone and then we can expect now the price to continue to drop as it is respecting this 20 period moving average the dynamic resistance and we can expect it to drop further weekly monthly same thing bearish candle followed by this dodgy now this week the price went above respected this high of the previous weekly uh, you see that created a lower high and rejection means that we can expect the price to continue to drop so all this time frame giving us a really shorting opportunity on nzd chf so upon closing of this candle in the similar way we will be considering uh, creating a pending order along this zone according to the rules of our strategies if it satisfies all the rules then we will consider shorting and ZDCHF from the zone with a high risk to reward ratio now let's look at CAD CHF now in comparison with other instrument CAD looks like suddenly became very very weak so with that in mind CAD CHF looks a strong bearish move now let's see bigger picture first on the monthly perspective cat chf basically has created on the monthly as well a very very strong bearish price action why because if you look at the high you see every month the price was creating a series of lower high very strong bearish move now this current month that the previous month this today close this monthly candle is basically a dodgy that has a lower high and this zone is a really strong resistance zone and from this zone we see that cat chf has broken down and i think that this instrument will continue to drop a lot in this in this move so with that in mind if we look at the weekly we have seen this current week also the price has broken all this couple of weeks high grab liquidity broke this trend line okay this is the weekly trend line has broken and rejection means that we, it has a momentum now for dropping so all this time frame including the daily back to back to dodges with a lower high okay so that's a liquidity grab broke this trend line on the daily with this two daily candle hit a lot of stop loss had a lot of liquidity now preparing for a drop so if we look at now on the intraday perspective we see that cat chf uh, with this head and shoulder nice looking head and shoulder has broken out of this head and shoulder so when a head and shoulder is broken what we can expect the price to go up and test this neckline of this head and shoulder this previous support here you can see this is the previous support zone here to test as a resistance and then to drop so in, the, in terms of cat chf this is our according to the rules of our strategy rule observing price section in this zone on cat chf for shorting opportunity with a high risk to reward issue with our students and if you find value in this analysis then smash the like button and also don't forget to drop a comment below to help this idea thank you for watching see you soon in my next analysis